Well, what have we here? This time, for Mr. Nelson Sunday Comics, we have Adventures into the Unknown. Something will remain unknown for only a short amount of time once they enter that old rickety doorway. To our readers, superstition is ignorance. It's a part of the Dark Ages from which man emerged centuries ago. But great classical authors such as Edgar Allan Poe, Horace Wapple, <laughs> Walpole, and many others have done much to keep alive the tradition of the ghost story. And to this day, tales of the mysterious unknown still grip our imaginations. This despite the fact that there are no such things as ghosts. There never were. There never will be. Yet, since stories of the supernatural will live forever, we invite you to enjoy the following adventures into the unknown. So out of the contents, we got the living ghost, an age-old specter roams through time. The werewolf stalks. Can a man become a wolf? A fierce beast, his fangs wreck havoc. Haunted house, only a dark old house, but it hid a secret of terrible vengeance. True ghosts of history, the dread spirit of Lord Tyrone. If it's a text story, we won't be covering it. The bat oh, the castle of Otranto, behind its grim battlements lurked. The supernatural. It walked by night. A wronged man strikes through the centuries. Strange spirits. The story of a sinister superstition. Voodoo. And finally, the cursed pistol. 300 years and the fatal firearm still so distracted. So anyway, this is Adventures into the Unknown from 1948. And already, this would have been before all the codes and stuff, because yeah, that was later. Not much later, but into the 50s. But here they, hey, this is all superstition and nonsense, so don't worry. Uh, whereas most horror comics just put it out there, you know. But, you know, whatever. I, you know. Oh, wait a minute. It said the first story was The Living Ghost. But we get werewolf stalks. Well, it says page one, so, uh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the werewolf stalks. Out of the frozen north came a dread thing. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. That was neither man nor beast. Well, it's a beast. It's just really big. A monster without a soul that killed without remorse and gave no quarter because it was broke. You'll thrill to this fearful story of the undead of a nameless terror that went loping through the night in the full of the moon with its crimes black upon it. So there he is. Woo! In the frozen timberlands of northern Canada, a gaunt gray killer stands at bay. Careful, lads, careful. I've got him covered. Oh! <laughs> Did he just shoot his friend while he's trying to shoot the dog? I mean, the wolf. <laughs> oh, well. No, he got the wolf. Well, there you go. Pierre, oh, the poor devil. Those shadows wrecked my aim. We. Oh, he did kill the guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. We've got him. Bring the crate. Hurry. Oh, they wouldn't be talking about it. Well, anyway, they're right up ahead. They must have roped the brute. Biggest timber wolf I ever saw. Vicious. If it leaped for a man's throat, we took the beast alive. But at what a price. I've been caging and selling wild beasts for 20 years. But every time a man is killed, I feel like a murderer. You should. Oh, I mean... It wasn't your fault, Mr. Wilder. The brute moved faster than its shadow. Well, most people do. It's, you know, anyway. At that moment, in a nearby cabin, 
Now I can bust a move on his wife. <coughs> a wreath of garlic. What good will that do, woman? Where will his fear garlic they do? They don't like garlic? I thought that was vampires. Anyway, where will his fear garlic? What was it we heard howling last night? It began as a wolf's cry, but it turned into the cruel laughter of a man. Jacques' laughter. In the black, oblique north country, ancient beliefs die slowly. From old France, the settlers brought with them a mortal fear of the undead. I tell you, it was Jacques, Jacques the Lager. He was bitten by a wolf, then disappeared. If it was a werewolf then that bit him, he's become a werewolf himself. He was cruel, brutal, even as a man, if he roams the timber as a wolf. Yeah, that's a Hollywood invention. That's not how old folk folklore did it with werewolves. Sometimes the people just wanted to. They made a deal with the devil and became wolves. And sometimes like a witch would give them some sort of paste they'd put on and it would turn them into a wolf. Other times they had the pelt of a wolf and they'd wear it and then they'd turn into a wolf. Crap like that. But in Hollywood, they came up with the idea. Well, if you get bitten by one and you, su and you survive, <laughs> guess what? You become a wolf. Anyway, later that night at John Wilder's camp, he's a magnificent beast, Barbara. Zoos are plenty greedy for timber wounds. We'll get a good prize for him in the States, but I can't forget that we captured him at the cost of a human life. I, I'm terribly tired, dear. Let's call it a night. The, you want to call the wolf a night? I... Uh, Alone. A ghastly transformation. Arr, arr, arr. Hey, you got opposable thumbs now. In the oh. Arr, I'm changing back. No longer a wolf. I am Jacques. Cage me like a beast, would they? I'll claw their throats out. So it's pretty easy once you got opposable thumbs to undo the latch, so yeah. 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 Wow, he's still part wolf, though, you know. Anyway, the wife of the man who caged me, when she bears the claw box of the undead, she will run like a beast through the timber. Her hands will become claws. Her face... Help! Help! Let me go! <clears throat> Barbara, she's gone! Help! John! <laughs> he sneaks in there narrating what he's gonna do plus you know you know the guy reeks right and then uh this guy sleeps through the whole thing you know well anyway great scott he's a giant can't risk shooting i've got to wait i got the clothes with him yeah. bang crack ah you devil take that I've got to get this wound dressed. I'll die if I don't get to a doctor or a vet. I'm in bad shape, losing strength fast. <laughs> I'm turning back into a wolf. No control over it. How can I get a doctor to help me if I'm a beast without a voice? <laughs> Uh, I'd be killed on sight. Trapped, desperate, the ghastly monster returns to his gate. I'll get the wound dressed as a wolf. Only chance. Got to take it. He won't know I was the man he shot. A man like him doesn't believe in... The camp is aroused by an agonized howling. Well, the great Scott, I remember now my gun went off twice when I sh uh, struggled with the lumberjack. A stray bullet must have lodged in the beast. There, I've got the bullet out and sterilized the wound. Well, those dressings will have to be changed once a day, but I guess I can handle it. In a week, you'll be at sea, sir. It will be tough on you if he turns ugly with a rolling deck under him. Anyway, ten days later, as the ship nears the Golden Gate, the beast's wound must be nearly healed. I believe I've made friends with it. It never snarls at me. I'm going to see if... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Man, that's the weirdest dog I've ever seen. 
Well, it's not a wolf. It's not a wolf. A human face and oh, John, John, him. Oh, well, that's it for, uh, what was her name? Oh, Barbara, yeah. Anyway, the ship's docking. You'd better get it into a taxi. She was taken up a bit. <laughs> it's amazing she didn't break her neck, but... But she'll be all right now, nerves mostly, you know, women. She saw a shadow and in a nervous state. Well, yeah, he does. <laughs> you know how women are. I think I do, doctor. Ten, another ten days later at a West Coast zoo. <laughs> I never saw a more vicious looking beast. Look at him. He'd like to get it up. A beast like that could kill a man with the Single blow. Hmm. Yeah. That night, <laughs> once again, opposable thumbs, you know. Arr, arr. In the sleeping city, a ghastly terror falls. A terror of rending claws lashing out of the darkness. Of running feet, of screams that start and end abruptly. As though choked off. And overall, the shadow of something monstrous and as merciless as the Arctic night. So, so that's him going all over the place, killing people, I guess. I don't know. Ooh. And this is just some carnival exhibit thing out of his side. Or it's just his ghostly image drifting through it while he's thinking about all the murdering he's done. Well, whatever. Anyway... But a werewolf cannot cross running water. Oh, all right. There it goes, Monahan. If it's that escaped wolf, I'll blast the viciousness out of it. Why don't you just kill it? Okay, that too. Blam! Oh! So anyway, later that night in John Wilder's home, I'm going upstairs to bed. I'm sorry the wolf escaped, but my responsibility ended when I sold it to the zoo. If you want to sit here listening to that radio blare, go ahead. You know as well as I do, the wolf had nothing to do with those things. It did have something to do with them, John. I tell you, I'm frightened. It wasn't the shadow I saw on the... Oh, the sheep. Why won't you believe me? The werewolf legend is as old as mankind. There must be some truth in it. <laughs> Terror fraud moments later... The wolf has been wounded. The details are just coming in. Apparently, it got away, but... Wounded? When it was wounded before John dressed the wound, what if it should come here? If it's really a werewolf, it will know the way. And sure enough, I'm here, goddammit, I'm bleeding. There's something at the window. Something out there. Something that's... Ooh, John, John, help me. Boy, he's really small. But, uh... Oh, well, big enough, I guess. Can't hold off much longer. J -j 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 john Okay, Barbara, keep backing up. Stay away from it. I've got to get to that table. I've got it, a silver paper knife. <laughs> Back, Barbara, here he comes. I'm... Oh, wait. I'm done for. If he gets my throat, got to get him first. No! Oh. <laughs> oh wait, he got it. And then, <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I'm a goner. Merciful heavens, look! In death, Jacques sheds the mark of the beast and finds release you from his torment. Oh, a silver knife. Anything silver is fatal to the undead. It is okay. <laughs> I mean, they're okay. You knew, but you didn't believe in the undead. What opened your eyes? <laughs> a werewolf coming into the living room. Anyway, sheer desperation, I guess. I I didn't want to lose you, darling. So he probably got lucky that night, you know. So there you go. That's uh, that's uh, the werewolf story. Uh, oh, here's Living Ghost. <laughs> Jeez. Well, werewolf story had better art, but... Uh, bleh, bleh. Well, we'll see what that's all about next time on Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics.